All right, everybody. So we're still talking about wisdom, how to operate in wisdom, how to be wise. And we found out yesterday, most important thing is go to the Word of God. Why? Because it's the wisdom of God. It's the way of God. It's the, uh, it's the, it's the will of God. So it's the will, the way, and the wisdom of God. Amen. Um, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Go with me to Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 16. Proverbs 24, 16. And remember, we're using Proverbs kind of as our base book for a lot of this wisdom. So King Solomon, when, G when God asked him, what can, I, what can I give you? And he said, give me wisdom. And it pleased God that King Solomon gave him, asked for wisdom. And so God gave him a lot. Boy, wouldn't that be nice? Well, guess what? He'll give you and I a lot too. Why? Well, because you can read again in James chapter 1. It says that um, uh, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God and he'll give it to you liberally and without reproach. There's a catch though. But let that, not, that man not ask in doubt. Because if we ask in doubt, we're like a wave of a sea being tossed to and fro. And it goes on to say, and don't let that man think that he's going to receive anything from God. So once again, it's available. The wisdom of God is available just for, just for the asking. Ask God, I need wisdom in this situation. What do I do? But be prepared. You may get an answer that you don't want to hear. Sometimes we get that. Sometimes God knows better than we do. So if you get the answer, you need to respond. Amen. Here in Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 16, it says, For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall by calamity. See, this is telling us, again, this is part of our wisdom, and this is what we're looking at this week. This is wisdom. Ready? Don't give up. You may fall down seven times. Uh, hey, I'm a cowboy. I'm preaching to cowboys right now, right? Um, you ain't rode till you've been throwed. I mean, come on. That is the law of the West. You ain't rode till you've been throwed. Now, once you get thrown off of a horse, do you lay that there and whine and complain like a little sissy? No, it says then you get back up, dust yourself off, and cl climb back aboard. That is, again, the way of the West. I don't care if you get bucked off seven times. You dust yourself off, climb back aboard. You don't give in. Same thing here. We do not give up. Amen. I want to read it to you from the Amplified. It says, for a righteous man falls seven times and rises again. And then the Message Bible says, no matter how many times you trip them up, God, God's loyal people don't stay down long. Soon they're up and on their feet. Hey, that's you and me. Why? Because we have been made more than conquerors. And we're world overcomers. We're a chosen generation, hallelujah. Kings and priests, the Bible tells of us. Right. And then here's the TEV version. No matter how often an honest man falls, he always gets up again. Amen. So that's what we need to do. If you consider the Apostle Paul, think about him. I mean, it talks about, in, in 1 Corinthians, talks about all the, the, the situations he's got, he gets into. Look with me at first, or 2 Corinthians chapter 4, starting with verse 8. We'll go 8 through 11. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal bodies. See, told, Paul told the Corinthians that he knew that he had been knocked down several times. He had suffered all these different calamities and stuff. But he always got back up. Always got back up. Well, you say, well, how did he do that? Well, listen to some of the scriptures he says. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He also said, um, uh, uh, um, no temptation that has befallen man or come upon man is, is not common to man. 
But God is faithful and will not allow you to be tempted above what you can handle and within the same temptation uh, give you room for escape that you might be able to bear it. Now, these are scriptures that Paul writes. Here's another one. Having done all to stand, we stand. Stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on the full armor of God, right? So all of these things Paul is telling us, yeah, I've been knocked down, beat up, bruised, uh, shipwrecked, whipped, and everything else, but he never stayed down. Why? Because he was more than a conqueror. And he lived the life of Christ. Christ never stayed down, right? He'd been raised from the dead. Well, we're raised from the dead. We're raised up every time. Every time we fall, we get up and just look to the eyes of Jesus and uh, look for his, uh, his deliverance and allow him to minister to us in an awesome way. Hey, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tech Room Devotional. Jesus loves you, and I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.